everybody welcome back it's M. so in today's video i'm gonna do a setup a plan with me in both of my on the go hobonichi regular it's my on the go planner and my common book the hobonichi mega and i'm setting up april in the hobonichi mega and next week's weekly tracker and then i'm setting up next week in um the hobonichi weeks regular just as my on the go planner. I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you how quickly I run through the process and the steps of setting up these planners. To me, a lot of people, it seems daunting to a lot of people because it's they think it's so much work to do this. And you could just make it as simple. I think I just, <laughs> I use the K-I-S-S. -S. I won't say the last word, but keep it simple, you know what, right? Just keep it simple. So I think the more complicated you make it, the more you just don't want to do it. Unless you are that type of person that you just want to get in detail and in depth into a plan with me. So my planning sessions usually last about, I want to say no more than 15 minutes. If a task is taking me more than 20, 15, 30, 15, 20, 30 minutes, it's like, ugh. I'm dreading it. This was a task that needs all day and then I'm going to need a nap <laughs> at the end of it. So this one, again, keeping it simple. I don't want to make this a long video. You can see I have some of my, uh, my supplies. I have some of my transfer on stickers. I have my Tombos. I have this dashboard that I created. I love these with a quote at the bottom. Um, I've been using uh, Sterling Inks dashboards and I love them. They're beautiful, but I wanted to try my hand making my own. So we have two planners that we're working with. We're going to start with the on the go planner. Um, that is the simplest thing to do right now. So as you can see, I have some supplies here. Um, I'm going to need a this little uh, Hobonichi ruler. So we're just going to move some stuff out of the way. So I'm actually, do I want to take, I'm not even going to take it out of the cover. I'm just going to go right in. I don't know if you can see it. And for the weekly setup, I keep it very, very simple. I do a weekly task up here. And if you guys can see that, I do a weekly task list. And then I go in on the side here and i just write down day specific things these are not day specific this can happen anytime during the week but anything i put here is day specific for example i had my taxes done last week right um i had to go in and check in on some investments and and post assignments on a specific excuse me specific day i ordered my groceries i did grocery shopping it's here but I order it this day and it was like, it was a complicated process. So I had, um, you know, I did two, two orders, right? And so this is the very simple setup. Now the video might take a little longer cause I'm explaining it, but when I actually get into it, it is so simple. And since we technically start April, I am going in. So I, I don't know if you can see, I've been using like purple, and green so we're going in with pink and green we're sticking with the green but we're our color palette for the next i want to say april may and june are going to be these three colors i just try to stick to three colors for a quarter and so the next quarter going to be these three tombow 761 723 and 158 and I'm just gonna stick with these. I don't know if they go well together. We're gonna see. If they don't go well together this week, we can always change it around for next week. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side. I just take this with me on to go if I need to like highlight anything in the planner. But again, this planner is not a pretty planner. It is functional more than it is pretty. And today we're using our Uni Jetstream, the Hobonichi pen from 2019. Okay, and we're using our Stedla Fine Liner Triplus. Okay, and we're gonna start. So first thing I do, as you can see, I went already went through and I label some um, days. So I have April Fool's um, sticker down. That's okay. We're gonna work around it. 
I come back here and I just go in and and this is going to be like a excuse uh excuse the turning of the page right so I just am going to go in and I just start with the days of the week keep it very simple since we're starting new colors I think I'm going to go in with the least in your face color and I've been doing this so long that it just has become second nature to me. Ooh, this is a beautiful pink. 761, beautiful. And then I go through and I see. So some tasks I just try to do weekly. So I know next week I'm going to have, I wanna do a couple things next week. So I just go back through, see anything that I miss that I need to work on. So what did I miss this week? I did Schwab, American Express, I did laundry. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna need to work on, oh, and I, sorry, I just go in and I write weekly task up here. My handwriting is off. <laughs> and so uh, I'm gonna need to work on the savings challenge books. This one is going to take me a few days to, to work on. Uh, business binder, didn't get to that this week. Will not get to it today because today is jam packed. Okay, lesson plans. Mm. Lesson plans for the week after. And I need to edit some videos. There is something else I need to work on. So I have groceries. Oh, um, okay. So from Monday, so this is what I have for now. This list is going to get very long. Let me go back here and see. I try to put in some housekeeping stuff. So yeah, I'm going to, I need to vacuum. So I need to dust living room furniture. And I try to do this every other week, the dusting. Dust bedroom furniture. Uh, I need to vacuum the entire house, VA. I can never spell vacuum, right? <laughs> vacuum whole house. I did bathroom today, but I try to keep up like just doing a five minute clean. So I'm gonna say, uh, tub slash shower, toilet, sink. Um, trying to see what else. Probably have to do some a little bit of meal prep. Meal prep could be over the course of a few days. Um, editing videos, I already have that. Oh, social media accounts. So some of these you can work on them over a few days and as you do them, you can go in and you could just cross them out. So for example, if we go last week, I did meal prep over the course of two days. I did Amex check-in over the course of two days because I was waiting for some things to clear on my card, making sure payments go through or um, uh, something that I purchased, make sure that it's on the account and then I just pay, pay it off. So social media accounts for MIB. I've been meaning to do this for weeks and I need to get it done. Um... think of anything else I'm just going back through here and just double checking again this is my on-the-go planner so while I'm out I see what I need to do and I think that's it yep I'm not missing anything so I tried to go back like four weeks mm, excuse me all right okay so that's good 
I do know a couple days I have some things to do. So I'm just going to go in and I'm going to put down what I have to do. Keeping, again, keeping it very, very, very simple. All right, so I'm going to go in with, maybe I'll go in with a deeper pink here. So for the 31st, I know I need to do bank. And we're doing, I just do a little arrow. I need to do cash stuffing. Up here, I need to I just put a little dot here. I know I could do like the dot, the zig dots and everything, but I'm trying. I'm not doing a no spend, but maybe a low spend will suit me fine. I need to mail out. Hobonichis. I wanted to get them done this weekend, but got really busy. Um, mail out Hobonichis. I know we're going to have a staff meeting here. We should. I don't know if we're going to have it. Sometimes they don't stick to their own schedule. That's okay. So we're supposed to have a staff meeting. Staff meeting at 3.30. It's on my regular Google shared calendar, but... Okay, so Mila Hovenichi's staff meeting, to bank, cash stuffing, uh, the first, really nothing, I think, um, and then the Sunday. So I did a whole bunch of laundry, um, so I don't have to do any laundry, which would normally go here. I think, yeah, that's quick, easy. <laughs> That would be for the on-the-go planner. But again, it starts like this and it morphs into like this or this with sticky notes. <laughs> so it starts very like minimalist. Like this one, I love this spread with the green. This is like St. Patrick's. No, this was not St. Patrick's week. This was St. Patrick's week. But yeah, it starts very like minimalist and then it like, boom, a lot of stuff happens. So it'll start like this and... I, at the end of the week, I will do a check-in to show you what it looks like, right? So how this works is whenever I do any of these tasks, and if you can see that, when I do any of these tasks, I'll just go in and I probably need to pull out the pink or a green because we're, we're moving away from the blue. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pull out a pink, um, a pink or a green either Stedla or Distabilos. And whenever I do these tasks, if they, it goes over to a few days, then I'll do it. Like toilet, sink, tub, probably be one a day or something, like take five minutes on the tub, five minutes on the toilet, five minutes on the sink. Um, meal prep might be over the course of two days. Social media accounts, I might get Facebook done one day and I might get Instagram done the other day because that's setting up for, setting up those social media for the, for this channel right but yeah so this is the on go planner done like next week i'll show you what i mean so next week i already have some stuff set up we have easter break then we have easter and i put like a little easter sticker from the happy planner sticker packs and i just call it a day sometimes i'll go in i'll put a little flower down or something if i feel like it um this week is supposed to be nice so we'll see maybe i'll go in and put a flower in <laughs> it does it looks bare so maybe we're gonna use one from here or hmm actually let's I think I want to use a different one. It's pink. So yeah, I have all these like happy plan I haven't bought happy planner stickers and when I buy them I give most of them away there's only certain things i want to use from them um so now and the sticker kits i think they're so beautiful but 
except for the most part sometimes most of them are not me but i like this one and i think we're gonna just go in because it's looking sparse and i think i'm gonna put it where did i put it last week i just want to be very careful with the placement this is my on-the-go planner so i don't really do much and i think i'm just gonna put it at the bottom here so I'm just gonna go in, I don't measure. Yeah, there we go, I just go in, cut it, and I'm just gonna put it right here. And if you can see, yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna go in, I'm gonna put it right here on the bottom. And it looks like it's just part of the page and actually goes pretty well with that. And then maybe put this one up here on top. Let's see. And that's it. it. It looks a little better now with the two stickers. So that is the on-the-go planner. Keep it very simple, right? Because it goes with me to work. Not that I care what people think, because I do not. <laughs> um, but, you know, it comes out with me at meetings and so on and so forth. This one, we get a little bit more creative. So we're going to set up next week. And as you can see, there's a lot more stickers in here. Um... Yeah, a lot more stickers. And did I put in for... Yeah, I did. All right. So this one, it's the setup is similar, but these are like habit trackers. These things I must do every, every single week, every single day. This is my daily habit tracker. And then this is my... I try to do a sleep tracker to track my sleep since we're back to work. So this week I got some really good sleep. Uh... This week eh, it was okay, but look at this week, horrible. So I needed, I do, I did need the break. This one was yo-yo up and down. This one was, this week was pretty good. This one was up and down, but this week was just horrible. And most of the sleep I got was on the weekend. So yeah, I do that. I track my sleep. But I digress. We're gonna go in and we're gonna start. So same thing. All right, we just go up here. I'm gonna try to keep this straight. And we go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sorry, it's a Sunday and people are rubbing their cars. Actually, I'm gonna go in with the deeper pink this time. And we're gonna go, I know it's two. Yeah, this one is so beautiful. So I went in with the deeper pink. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just go in with my um, my Uniball, not my Uniball, my Unijet stream. I'm just going to write Habit Tracker. And this one, I can definitely go over this with the Tombow, and I normally do. But for like the Habit Tracker and the Sleep Tracker, they, it's a number of space. I'm so used to doing it. Um, that it doesn't really bother me and now I'm gonna just go through I'm gonna draw a line and yeah okay I just want to make sure that I know where it's gonna hit which is right over here it's two up and yeah when you do this over and over and you don't switch up it becomes like second <laughs> second knowledge and it's it's so easy just to knock it out all right so and some of this stuff is a little tmi but i want to track it for various reasons like if i don't take my medication how does that affect my stomach and this, what I'm writing, I won't say it, but you can read it. Um, I used to be really bad at drinking water. So now I try to make sure I get just regular green tea, some seltzer water, because I, I, I could, I'll drink seltzer water all day, every day, 10 cups a day. It's good for you, but too much of a good thing can be bad for you. So I, I need to drink some regular water, um, some lemon water, green tea, no sugar, no milk, no honey, just plain st straight up green tea. 
need to make sure I do my lemon water. So it's either a lemon or an apple cider vinegar water in the mornings. Two servings of fruit minimum a day. I swear, it's like my hand knows that I am, my brain, I shouldn't say my brain, my hand knows that I'm like filming and so my handwriting sucks right now. Okay, we're gonna say no meat. I am not vegetarian or vegan, but I like to go days without eating meat and gluten. Gluten, that's another thing. American gluten is not good for my stomach, but when I'm in Europe, it's like I can eat bread. <laughs> Germany is famous for their bread. I can eat bread every single day in Germany, and then I try to do the same over here, and it does not go well. No spend. This one is very important because, you know, when you're single, you live by yourself. It's like, I'm not saying you have like a bottomless wallet, but it's like... <laughs> Oh, I can, you know, I don't have anybody to take care of except myself. And so um, I do intermittent fasting. And I normally do a 16 to an 18 hours fast. And that's been working for me. Try to get a minimum of 12,000 steps per day. And we're going to go through last week and, sh and show you how not so good I did on that. Again, I was on vacation, so I was like, whatever. Five miles per day minimum. 60 minutes cardio. So cardio, is. I'm just tracking that on my Apple Watch. It could just be going for a walk. It doesn't have to be this intense anything. Because most of my sweat comes from this next one. 20 minutes of strength training. I need to lift weights. I need to max out my calorie input. And I have to say, since I've been tracking this, I've been notice a sh noticing a shift. And so I'll take it. Oh no, I smudged. 15 minutes clean a day. And this, this 15 minutes clean is very important. It doesn't mean deep cleaning. It could just be, let's say I do the whole bathroom. I don't know if you remember seeing in over here, this 15 minutes clean could be maybe I did you know, I had tub, toilet, and sink, right? About five minutes each, if that. If I do the whole bathroom in that 15 minutes, I can cross that off. Maybe it's just, um, I just, I did a video tidying my desk area. That was 15 minutes. Maybe it's um, folding and packing away some clothes. Maybe it's vacuuming, whatever it is, right? Just 15 minutes per day. And it makes such a difference. I am not a mom or a house a housekeeper or a homemaker and i was once not a mom but i you know i was a wife once a stay-at-home homemaker on a military base and it used to be so daunting and then now that i'm like on my own and single again and i'm like why did i do this <laughs> you know um, but I don't know how moms do it. I don't know how stay at home moms do it. That's a job. And when people say that's not a job, yes, it is. It's a job on its own, um, that sometimes can be thankless, um, depends, depending on the situation. So I'm sorry, I digress, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm like, God bless them. God bless them. Um, me on my own, it's, I just do try to do 15 minutes a day and, it keeps my home, keeps me sane. I need to make sure I do my five-year journal every day because this is something I want to keep up with. 
and I need to make sure I make my bed every day. During the week, this is not making my bed. I'm, um, you know, originally West Indian, and yeah, that is like a no brainer. You get up, you make your bed. But on the weekends, I tend to be like, ah, oh, I can relax, and I'm like, nope, get up, get take a few minutes, do your morning pages, make your bed. For me, I need a, a bed made. But I uh, right now, what I'm trying to do, I as soon as I get up, I don't make it. I give it like 15, 20, 30 minutes while I do something, drink some water or something like that. And then I make it because I want to air it out. I don't want to just get out of the bed of my, my body, whatever is in the bed. You know, I want to air it out. So I pop open the window, even in winter, and just kind of air out the room from the sleep. All right, so I think we're going to go in with the lighter pink down here for our sleep tracker. And we know how that works. Two over. This is such a pretty pink. It's so gorgeous. I love it. And we're going to say sleep tracker, right? Sleep tracker. For me, my sweet spot, seven and a half. <laughs> it's so weird when I tell people that. My sweet spot for sleeping is seven and a half hours. It is not. Okay, I have to make sure I count out. It is not seven hours. It's not even eight and a half. Eight and a half is like pushing it. I'm like, okay, I need to get up and do something. Seven and a half, I get up and I could just go. So it should be one. I think I started way too close. Yeah, I went up. No. Oh. So. Hmm. Did I do? Nope. I'm, I'm right. You second guess yourself. <laughs> yeah. Again, been doing this like so long that. It's like, I know the, the lines and again, I don't switch it up very much a minimalist planning. It's taking, the videos getting long because I'm explaining it, but if I wasn't explaining it, this would be cut in half. So if it's like, end up being a 30 minute video, this would normally take me about 10, 15 minutes. And so we just go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We start with a minimum of five, six, seven, eight hours of sleep. All right, that's the setup. Uh, I think, so spring, this one I said spring began, so we're gonna change up the flowers in here. And for this one, yeah, I like, this is like my mental health if I wanted to put down. I Right now I'm tracking like my meals and my weight and stuff. And I can give you an update on my weight journey. You just tell me down in the, you know, in the comments what you want to see from this page. But I think this one, I don't know if I want to do a, no, I, this one is all about the stickers. So <laughs> I'm going to go in with this beautiful one right here, but I'm going to cut it in half actually. Let's move this over. I'm going to cut this in half. Oops. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm shaking the... The exacto knife. Yeah, like that. That is straight through. <laughs> I really should not be cutting on this desk without putting something down. That is gorgeous. And we're just going to go straight across up here. Sorry, I'm going to have to do like this. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Can I just say, I hated pink growing up. Hated it. It was not my color. Blue was my color growing up. But now, it's just like such a pink fiend. I think I want to go in the corner. 
actually with the sleep one I want to go I could go in the bottom but I think I want to go in the corner here so we're gonna put this down here good now this would normally be it and then you know I go through my week and then I just start writing stuff down so this would normally be it but we're coming up on close that down we're coming up on a new month so I'm going to go to the back and I'm going to show you what I do for my uh my common book so the first is next week Saturday I'm probably going to do maybe two to three more journal entries so I'll just save these two pages I'm going to set up I'm going to set up the next month like sort of like what I did like this right so this was, um, this is from Sterling Ink, and I just printed it on regular printer paper, and I stuck it in for January, for February, and for March, right? This month, I did my own. And this is something that I'm going to put up in my store eventually. And so this is what it looks like on regular printer paper. And it's for the weeks, and then I'll, I'll make it for, um, I'll make it for the cousin and traveler's notebooks and so on and so forth this is what it looks like on regular printer paper i just wanted to make sure it looks cute and then i printed it on vellum and oh my gosh it's so gorgeous but i think i'm gonna need to trim <laughs> i am gonna need to trim so um i'm gonna trim because i want the quote the quote is I want that quote <gasps> oh i'm gonna have to trim I'm gonna have to trim. <laughs> I don't want to say a lot, but yeah, let me get the trimmer. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. So. Yeah, let me just do a quick. Uh, I should just, I don't know if I should do this off camera, but. Yeah, I'm going to need to trim a little bit off. So I'm just going to lift this up here. If you can see, this thing is not flat because I'm trying to just show you how I work this. Yeah, so if you're interested in these, let me know. This is a new trimmer I bought. Don't love it. Do not like it. I should have stuck with my friskers. You do not want to cut off the quote. cut off the quote maybe bring it just a little bit more here we go oh yeah I don't like this I should have stuck with yeah stick with what you know <laughs> like that's me I'm like it up we're gonna take a couple we're gonna take that bottom piece off yeah I do not like this one bit this paper trimmer I'm not even gonna say the name it's sucky let's see let's just make sure that this fits take off maybe just a little bit more on this side yeah just a little bit more I'm actually gonna do that off camera really quickly so I can just knock it out right in oh my gosh it worked ah yeah i'm just gonna pop that in 
Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna put our scraps to the side. <laughs> okay. Again, <laughs> this normally doesn't take me this long, but yeah. Yep, it fits, perfect. And I'm just gonna go in with my scotch. I eventually wanna get the Tombow, but right now I, I'm using up what I have because I don't, you know, again, you know, I'm on my own, so I don't really answer to anybody, but I have financial goals I wanna hit and I am hitting. So I'm not depriving myself of things, but it's not a necessity. I'm not going to be out purchasing it. No, I'd rather right now my my mantra is experiences, not things. Yeah. So eventually I will get the Tombo. Um, but I have a bunch of these. And so once they... Oh crap, I wanted to get it all the way to the end. Once it runs out, I will, um, I'll eventually get the Tombo. So with this, when I'm gluing it down, I just put it on a sheet, a regular sheet of like scratch paper, something that I was working on that's gonna go in the garbage or go in the recycle. And then I just put the glue on. This thing is like, I tell you, it's like, oh, and I think we're done. It's like, it knows that I'm like recording and it's done. Oh, okay. It should be able to stick like that. All the edges got what they needed. And I'm just going to go in. Oh, I don't like that. You can see through it on the vellum. Oh, sucks. So definitely I'm going to need to get a clear one and I just, yeah, I don't know if it's going to bother me <laughs> that I can see it, the vellum, that's a lesson learned, right? So when I did it with the regular printer paper, and as you can see, even on regular printer paper, it's gorgeous, right? It doesn't show through does not show through. Let's go back to, let's look at March here. It doesn't, see, it doesn't show through. Because the regular printer paper is a little thicker than the vellum and it's more opaque. Whereas the vellum is trans, eh, somewhat transparent. Um, it's not transparent, it's matte. Matte transparency. So you can, yeah, you can see all the yellow. No, whatever. <laughs> uh, if it if it really really bothers me, um, I'll just go in and I'll do that. But eh, we'll see next week if I take it out. I'm not that stingy. So this video is getting way too long. All right, the next thing for Mar for um sorry the month is that I go in and I put in the the date. The monthly day, the monthly, ah, the monthly day, the monthly with a sticker. Um, and then I put in expenses and then March ta the, the task list for the month. And that's it. So I'm going to grab the stickers really quickly and we're going to finish this up because this video is out of control right now. Yeah, and with these, I'm just trying to use up a lot of the stickers that I have just to get it over with. My whole thing is, my whole point is not try not to buy stickers. So these are just some sticker packs that I got, I don't know, I don't even know how long ago. And that sticker does not go with this. That is a dark April. There's no, like, lighter ones? Um, yeah, no. Okay, I guess we're gonna go... April, but I think what I'm gonna do for April, yeah, this was like a sticker pack I bought on Amazon to redate a planner. Didn't use it. I was like, screw it. I don't like redating planners. So what I'm gonna do, go and what I'm gonna do here, since this is so dark, I'm gonna go in with this, and I'm gonna go.
I am note artist, people. There we go. <laughs> if that works. <laughs> okay. And then, like bullet journal style, I'm just going to go down, let me show you, and I'm just going to put in the days and date. Okay, so let me do that right now because this video is getting way, way, way too long. And so we start on a Saturday and we finish on a Sunday, 1 to 30th, wrong one. I'm just going to start here. And again, this doesn't, you know, whatever your handwriting is, okay, April has 30 days, right? Let's go back through, look at it, yep. And then what I do, just take my jet stream and just like you do in the, um, just like you do in, if you're doing a bullet journal, but I can't do bullet journals. They just take too much time. So we're going to go, what is it? I think it's two in. Yeah. And so that's a Saturday. Let's just do this really quickly. And I always just go up, go back in and check. <laughs> I've made, I've made those mistakes before. You're like on a roll and it's like, oh crap. Wednesday's the 19th. Yep. Thursday is, see, talking, not paying attention. Saturday's the 22nd. Yep. Sunday's the 23rd. Monday. All right, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, April, there are some days that I will go back through and put in. Um, those days will be, I'll get those days from this. This is a long plan with me. You know what? I'm just going to say screw it and stop apologizing for the video being long. Um, so I need to go and put in these dates. Uh, actually, just, let me just do that because that's what I would normally do. This is a plan with me, right? So stop apologizing and just get it done. Um, Lent ends on the 5th. I completely failed this year. Okay. Um, just going back to just seeing how anything. Okay. Lent ends, Easter break begins on the 6th for us. And then, where's that little ruler? Just gonna, Easter break goes through. Uh, fourth. What? No way. What am I talking about? <laughs> Easter break goes through the 10th. All right. Six through the 10th, which is the Monday. All right. Easter Sunday is the 9th.
Good Friday is the seventh. All right, that's Easter. We're back to work on the eleventh. Okay, I am getting my hair done. I'm not gonna put that in. I'm just trying to go through this. I don't think there's anything else I need to put in here right now. And as the month goes along, I put my cycle, I put all sorts of stuff in there. All right, so that is the dashboard with that horrible, horrible yellow. Ah, oh, guys, I think, I think it's gonna have to come out. It's kind of pissing me off. <laughs> so I need clear. If I'm gonna use the vellum, I need to use clear um, glue. And then I'm just gonna go through here and I'm going to the next, these next two pages are gonna be expense tracker and April task. And so I just try to use um, stickers that go. If I can't find stickers that go, I say screw it because um, I'm not trying to make my life more difficult. I'm going to keep it very, very simple. So I always try it. So these are some of the stickers. Yeah, I gave away so many happy, stick happy planner sticker books. I was just not, not feeling it. Oh, this is cute. I love their, don't get me wrong, I love their sticker books, but it's it's just some, most of the stuff I just don't use. And um, actually, it's not summer. So, let's, see if, let's see if we can find another, another one. Maybe like a blush pink. If I can maybe cut two boxes and call it. It. <laughs> I've never made such a long video before in my life. I hope you guys are still with me. What should have been a very short video has turned into a very long video. Actually, I think I'm actually going to go in with these two and just... Call it. Okay. So one is for let's line it up here. Okay. So one is for April task. And then the other one is for expenses for the month. Any like charges or fees or anything like that. So let me just go back through here and see how it was just March expense tracker, March task list. So we're going to do the same thing. April expense tracker, April task list. So let's go ahead and write this here. I do not like that. Oh, whatever. Did not mean to put that like that. <laughs> I need whiteout. Oh, this is not going as smooth as we want. Okay. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Yeah, we'll just keep it up here. All right. This doesn't have to be perfect again. <laughs> I don't want it to be perfect. I'm not perfect. But yeah. And as you can see, if we go back through like February, it's not perfect. It's cuter, but it's not perfect. We go back through March. Again, not perfect. It's okay. So 
so I have, and actually I think I have some pink or blush in these stickers that I could just put down really quick. I'll use the, oh, the February, no, I'll use the December ones. So I'll put down uh, a money sticker for the expense and I'll put it right here. Yep. And then for tasks, I'll put a check, check box. Yeah, good. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I think one more thing and we can call this done. I don't know if anybody is still with me. If you are, give me a thumbs up. I don't know. <laughs> But, um, so, oops, yeah, here we go. So this is the, all right, so let's do a quick overview. Do I need to put any, I feel like I have enough flowers. I feel like I need a flower. I feel like I need a flower to make me feel happy about this. <laughs> I think, I think I need a flower, so. I'm saying I want to be done and I am like, no, we're going to put a flower down. We want a big, <laughs> big pink flower. I need to, oh, son of a bitch. Excuse my language. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I need to stop cutting. I need to get my cutting mat out. okay that looks good yeah perfect all right <laughs> okay let's do a flip through whoa 52 minutes not editing this <laughs> all right so these are the two that I set up. These are my two planners that I use, right? So let's just go through. This one is very simple. This is my on the go. And I just set it up really simple. So I have my weekly task, days, non-specific days. So this can happen on any of these days. And as it happens, I just go through and cross it out. And I've already put in some things that I know I need to do. I need to mail out the Hobonichis tomorrow. I have a staff meeting probably on Tuesday to go to the bank, right? I put down some flowers. This will get, if we go based on previous weeks, it'll get even busier than what I have now, right? This is on the go. And we're gonna put our pen back here with it. And this is our common book, mental health, emotional, physical health. So again, set it up for the week. This is my habit tracker. And as I do it, I tr these are things I need to do every day. And then I track my sleep tracker. And then at the end, I just go through and draw a line through it to show the, my sleep pattern. So I need to finish this tomorrow when I go to sleep tonight. And I just keep a track of either my food, my workout, something over here. And in the back here, I just journal if I'm feeling sad that day or happy, why, what's going on. And then I just, so I left two pages. Oh, please tell me. Oh my gosh, I did not leave two pages for the week. <laughs> wow, I'm telling you. Oh my gosh, what is going on? I'm like, should I just glue these two together and just redo it? Because right now, that's what it's feeling like. It's, it, I, I'm tempted to redo this because I'm so like, because uh, I wanted to journal this week. What is going on with you? Well, hopefully, if anything comes up this week, we'll plop it over here. It's fine. Again, whew, Musa, if anything comes up, we'll plop it. I'm not taking this out. Lesson learned. That's actually, as a teacher, I always say, do not use white. I don't like when kids use white out. I say, put a line through it and keep pushing. The reason I say that is because I want them to see 
the mistakes that they made so that they don't make it again. So I'm gonna follow the same advice that I would give my students. Don't white it out, don't glue it or stick it or rip it up, whatever, leave it. So that way for May, you know not to do the same mistake again and go and get the Tombow. So no more of this when it comes to inputting vellum. For regular paper, it's fine. Regular stickers is fine. But for anything, <laughs> even suggesting to be transparent, I need clear glue dots or clear Tombow. So I, I'm going to pick up Remember that no spend? This is gonna get a it's gonna get some something written in it this week. I can absolutely guarantee you I'm spending money this week on something. So yeah, there we have we have April dashboard, April month on one page, just seeing. So I like having both of these. So this way I can write down things that I know is gonna happen. I track my cycle, I track whatever I need to track here. Um and then and I have it over here also. But yeah, that will do it for this video. We didn't use any of our rub-ons or transfers. That doesn't even sound right, rub-ons. But we didn't use any of our transfer stickers. We scratched our desk. This was <laughs> a little bit of a hot mess, but it's okay. It's done. Um, action, not perfection. That is my mantra for this year action not perfection and so it's set up it's ready to go and bob's your uncle i'll see you in the next video bye everybody